Can you make money from podcasts? Absolutely you can. There's several different ways to do that. There's a slow and steady way and probably a much faster way that can pay off a lot quicker. And we'll go over both of those next. <laughs> By the end of this video, you're going to have a really good idea of which direction to take your company's podcast, how to get it up and rolling, and what to focus on for your customers. So let's go. Traditional podcasting is kind of like television. You're going to come up with a really great show. Tons and tons of people are going to come out like at 8 o'clock on Thursday night, right, and watch the show. Well, the cool thing about podcasting is you're not locked into Thursday night at 8 o'clock. But what you're shooting for is that large audience. Because, just like in the TV model, the more eyes that are on the TV show, the more ears that are on your podcast, sponsors and advertisers are very interested in reaching those people. And it's probably going to be something that's similar or related to, or your demographic, your listener, is very interested in. For example, let's say you're doing a bass fishing podcast. Don't you think a boat manufacturer or a lure manufacturer or a, uh, a fishing rod brand name would love to talk to your people? Of course they would. That would be the way to do it. You get a successful show and somebody comes along and says, hey, let me talk to them about what I have to sell because they're obviously interested since they're listening to your show. That is the traditional model, the traditional advertising for entertainment model that is for radio stations, for TV, for all that type of entertainment. Get an audience and then advertisers will pay for access to your audience. That's the whole point. You can also do that with your podcast. The more you start to show some momentum and a success rate, you can go and approach some of these sponsors yourselves just to get the ball rolling. Uh, expect some no's, expect some, some, I'm going to say closed doors in your face, not necessarily slamming. And then there, of course, will also be some sponsors that will come to you for, for various things. That's just the tip of the iceberg. There's plenty more that you can do as far as, say, um, sponsorships. And you can do live events and have people pay to come to those. You can have your own little webinars and conferences and meet and greets. You can do swag, anything from coffee mugs to hoodies to t-shirts to... Uh, you know, all kinds of stuff, anything that you think you can sell, exclusive access to exclusive content that's beyond the show. Maybe another private interview with your host. That kind of thing would be an extra charge if people wanted to come and see the behind the scenes stuff. Or if you've been recording all of this in video and you just publish the audio on your podcast, but if people want to actually see what happened, they could pay extra and catch the video version on your YouTube channel. There's all kinds of ways that you can monetize your podcast to make it the traditional way of gaining an audience and then charging either sponsors to get to your listeners or charging your listeners for added benefits. But the main focus that you're going to find in this particular model, this particular business model, is to build the audience. You want more people, you want great content that they're clamoring for, and then basically getting the word out that, hey, I exist. If you're interested in this stuff, you need to come listen to me, and this is where you can find me. That's going to be the self-promotion. That's probably what you're going to be doing more than producing episodes, promoting your podcast, promoting the episodes, and trying to get more and more listeners so you can end up charging access to those listeners or selling directly to them. So if you've been thinking about a business podcast, if you've been thinking about, say, a business YouTube channel, or maybe even dabbling in some other audio version, like maybe radio commercials for your company, this is the place. This is the place. I hope you would subscribe and, and you'll see that we cover all of that here and get you up and running quickly and efficiently and very cost effectively. That's the whole point, quite frankly. So you don't have to spend a lot on the promotions. This is all stuff that you can do to bring people in instead of chasing clients and customers. So be sure to like and subscribe and uh, take us along for the ride. Now the second, which may be more profitable sooner way than the traditional entertainment for advertisers version, since you are a business, you're going to set up your podcast to bring clients in. And the way you go after clients is simply by meeting them where they are. The way I like to look at it is, think of them, they know that they want to go on a cruise. They know that they're, oh, I really like a tropical island, maybe some mountain hiking, maybe some gorgeous flowers, some pristine beaches, 
Now, which islands does that describe? Just about any tropical island, right? Quite a few, that's for sure. But as they narrow down their searches and as they narrow down their information, they're going to start to find you. They're going to ask a question and, oh, there's this person here that I recognize. They, they had this other video that we just bumped into. Basically, they're on their search and there you are on the beach already waiting for them. See, they know what they want. They haven't found it yet, but they just don't know about you. So what you do is you start answering the questions that they're already asking, and that puts you on the beach before they even get there. Once they know, like, and trust you, they see that you're starting to pop up all over the place because, gosh, this guy knows all about me. This woman knows all about me. They're answering everything that I'm thinking. Well, there you go. Now you become seen as the expert and hopefully your beaming personality will come across. And uh, like I said, the no, the, the no like and trust factor goes through the roof. And then they end up hiring you. That happens a lot faster than trying to build an audience of hundreds of thousands and getting a whole bunch of listeners downloading and listening to your podcast. When you niche your podcast, to your business customer. That's when you start to see a lot of success. So how do you find these questions? The two really great, qu well, first of all, there are a bunch of SEO uh, programs out there. For example, like SEMrush, you would type in some keywords, tell SEMrush to just give me the questions. And what you really want is long tail. So you set it to long tail, you set it for questions and boom, it'll give you a whole list of questions that people are asking about your topic. What is it that you are an expert about? That's what you're going to be talking about. You take those titles exactly and make that the title of your video. Then give them your answer. And the next time somebody does that exact same search, which they're doing, that's why it's popping up so much, it's because people are asking the exact same question verbatim again and again and again. Now all of a sudden you're the one popping up. See, that's you on the beach. So here you are already there because you've done your SEO research. They're just typing in questions that they want answered. Turns out they're not the only one asking that question. So you figured that out and you made the video for that question. Boom, you're there. Another place that you can find it, there are a couple good websites. One is called answerthepublic.com and the second place is alsoasked.com. Both of those give you a really neat layout. You type in a couple keywords, let's say tropical vacations, okay? Tropical vacations. Then it'll draw out this like mind map type of thing for questions and they go two questions deep. Now what's really cool is, first of all, this first branch gives you like six, eight, 10, 12 questions. You can click on that first branch or you can click on any one of these questions and go even deeper. So you'll have more and more and more questions. You've got all kinds of stuff that you can start making videos of and start giving your answer to all these questions that are already being asked. So jump on board, start answering questions, and that will be your podcast episodes. It's really simple to do and very, very effective. So along the same lines, now that you're cranking out all this audio at a record pace, congratulations, you podcast monster, how do you edit it all? Well, I've got some suggestions for you. Click in the description down below. There's a link. Click on that link and you'll get my free guide to free audio editing software. Now's a great time to grab it. It covers both PCs and Macs, all kinds of programs that do all kinds of stuff. And depending on what bells and whistles you want, uh, the best thing is they're all free. You can try them all out, kick the tires, see which one works best for you, which one you feel most comfortable with, which one feels best to you. That's the one to go with. Editing audio, it's not simple, but it doesn't have to be as complicated and complex as most people make it out to be. So grab your free copy of the free guide to free audio editing software now. I'm Nick Natarella with AdWise Creative. Thank you for watching.